Hi everyone. Welcome to another video of Food and Beverage Club. And today let's talk about different bar equipments. Before that, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. First thing which comes up in our mind when we think of bar is cocktail shaker. As the name says, it is used to shake the cocktail ingredients in order to mix them properly. Now there are three types of cocktail shakers. The first one is called Boston shaker, which has two pieces, namely mixing container and the bottom. Second type of shaker is cobbler shaker, which has three pieces, namely mixing container, strainer, and the cap. And the third is the French shaker. Two-piece shaker, more like a cobbler, but without any built strainer. So, in case of Boston and French shaker, separate strainers are used. Now, let's talk about cocktail strainers. An accessory used to remove ice from mixed drinks, as it is poured in serving glasses. They are basically three types of strainers. The first one is called Hawthorne strainer, which has two prongs and a metallic spring that allow it to fit perfectly inside the glass. The second one is called Julep strainer. And the last one is called Superfine or Fine Mesh strainers. Then we have mats. There are three types of mats used in the bar. First is called flow mat. It provides a non-slippery and comfortable flooring to work on. The second type of mat is called bar mat, over which bartenders make their drinks. It catches all the spills. And the last type of mat is called bar service mat, over which the drinks are served. Let's talk about the most important bar equipment, the bar spoon. Bar spoons are used in mixing and layering the drinks and it holds about 5 ml of liquid. The method of rotating the bar spoon is called twirling. There are four types of bar spoons. The first one is called European, which has a muddler at the back. The second is called American, which has a caved in. And the third type of bar spoon is called Japanese, which comes with a teardrop at the end, which helps in maintaining a better center of gravity, resulting in better twirling. The last type of bar spoon is called Circuit. It is a bar spoon with a trident which is used to pick garnishes. The next important bar equipment is Jigger, commonly known as Peg Measurer. Let's have a look at the different kinds of Jiggers. First we have Single Jigger or commonly known as Multi-Level Jigger. It has marking from 0.5 ounce to 2.5 ounce. Then we have double classic jigger which has measurements of 60 ml and 30 ml and it looks like an R glass. The third kind of jigger is the Japanese jigger which has a measurement marked on the inside. It has a deeper well that causes less spoilage. Then we have double OXO, a modified version or double classic jigger with anti-slip grip for comfortable pouring and six markings on the inside. The other type of jigger is double classic jigger with a handle attached and is called as armed jigger. Let's see some other bar equipments like garnish tray 
which is used to keep garnishes like lemon slice, mint sprigs, lemon wedges. Then we have whipped cream dispenser, which is used to form whipped cream foam over drinks like for Irish coffee. Bar also use various molds to shape ice into various shapes like ice balls, small ice cubes, other ice cubes, bullet ice, ice bones, ice skulls or ice shots. Then we have ice well. The place where ice is kept. Generally it is a part of bar structure. Then we have jester to remove just pillar, glass racks to stack glasses. Glass racks could be of two types, the classic glass rack or the hanging glass rack. Then we have carving knife, chopping boards, uh, reamer which is used to rim glasses. It has three shallow discs, one for sugar, one for salt and one uh, with a sponge for lime. Then we have muddler, a tool that looks like a pestle used to mash or muddle sugar cubes, herbs or spices to release the aromatic oils and flavors. Then we have satay sticks, sticks which are used to prepare garnishes like picks for martinis, wine stoppers which are placed over open wine bottles to avoid any oxidation, bar blade which is the most common kind of crown cap opener generally used to open beers and irritated beverages ice buckets are used to serve ice then we have speed rail which is a bar attachment used to keep juices and syrups dispensers are used to store homemade syrups and juices then we have Pour spouts, which is an attachment used over the bottle to allow liquid to flow through it at a constant rate. Next, we have ice scooper, which is used to scoop ice from the ice well. Then we have mixing glass, which is a glass used as a beaker to mix different ingredients. Next we have drip tray, a mounted tray which is designed to catch drips. Wine chiller buckets are used to keep the white wine or the sparkling wine chilled during its service. Then we have wine cradle which is used to present and open red wines. Then we have juicers, drip decay which is an attachment that fits on the neck of the wine bottle and absorbs any drip during the service. Then we have caddy which is used to store or keep napkins, toothpicks, poster and sauces. Let's see some more important equipments. Smoke gun, a machine that allows you to infuse drinks with natural smoky flavor like applewood, teas, dried flowers, etc. Bar also use ice crushers as there are a number of drinks that ask for crushed ice. Now let's talk about different wine openers. There are a number of wine openers in the market but we are going to talk about only famous ones. The most commonly used wine opener is called as waiter friend or cork screw. It has a warm, a foil cutter and levers. Then we have butterfly or winged opener. It has a warm, a mouth and wings. Then we have a so. It is named so because many people when see it for the first time they don't know what is it. But once they find out the way it is used, they often remarks, Oh, so now I see, 
and this is how it has got its name. It is a good choice to open older wines with this cork screw. Although the Rhine wine opener is the best wine opener for removing any fragile corks. And lastly, we have Coravon, a wine opener that pours wine without removing the cork from the bottle. It uses a hollowed needle which is inserted through the cork and it fills the bottle with argon gas to pressurize it. And the wine is then poured out from the cork. The cork reseals protecting the rest of the wine from the oxidation.